check out the line at the Culver City Supercharger. This is what it looks like. It's insane. We need more superchargers here, Tesla. And please fix some of these stalls. They are broken, broken, broken. Hi, I'm Joy. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I document my Tesla Model 3 owner experience to help new and future owners learn more about this car. If you find my videos helpful and informative, please consider subscribing. I live in Los Angeles, California, and the supercharger that you saw is the one closest to where I live. And that supercharger has been around since 2015, I believe. It was one of the earlier supercharging stations and it's quite popular as you can see. Despite having 16 stalls, there's always a line whenever I go, even at nine o'clock at night. A lot of the LA area superchargers are overcrowded. I don't know about other parts of the country or other parts of the world, but because of the supercharger crowding issue, we have, I didn't do this, but I'm now following some of these unwritten rules and I wanted to share about Tesla supercharging etiquette with all you new and future Tesla owners out there. In case if you encounter this issue at the supercharger that you frequent and in other areas that you visit, please follow these rules. Number one, if you arrive at a supercharger and all the stalls were taken, look around and see if there are other Tesla parked nearby with drivers inside. It could be that they are waiting for a stall to open up and they are actually ahead of you in a queue. At the Culver City Supercharger, somehow people decided to make that side of the parking lot, it was at a mall, to be the waiting queue. So it's pretty clear for people arriving to start building that queue. However, I have visited other Southern California superchargers like the one in Fountain Valley, for example, there isn't enough space in the parking lot to form a queue like that. So what I've encountered was I would arrive and I would see all the stalls are taken and I look around and see at other non-charging parking spots if there is a Tesla parked and I will look and see if there's somebody sitting in there, I would actually go and ask, hey, are you next in line? Or sometimes there would be somebody who has taken up the responsibility of managing the queue. I've met some really cool and friendly Tesla owners that way, where someone would come up to me as soon as I arrived and he saw that I was looking around, he approached me and say, hey, you are after this one, this one's after that one, this one's after that one, and I'm the first in line. So we sort of self-police, and I ended up talking with that particular owner while I was waiting to kill time, and it was just a wonderful experience. But the number one rule when you arrive at a filled supercharger is to always look around and see if there may be other owners waiting before you so that you know what the order of the queue is, even though there may not be a line. Number two, what does it mean when you see a charging cord that's thrown above the station or it is being thrown on the ground? That means that this charger is broken. Do not pull in there, just leave it alone. Stay in your queue. Number three, what do you do when you realize that your supercharging station is broken? Well, refer to point number two. Unplug the charging cord, throw it above the charging station. That is the indication that this charging station is not working. As a bonus point, if someone tells you that station is broken and that's why the charging cord is that way, believe them. I have run into people 
where I am charging and the next stall is broken and the cord is clearly above the station and the guy was pulling in anyway, I roll down my window and say, hey, just want to let you know that charger is broken. Wouldn't believe me. And sure enough, he plugged it in and after a minute or two, he got out. I'm like, it's broken, right? Yeah, it's broken. And he drove away without putting the cord back onto that station. Sorry, that's my pet peeve. It irks me. So please, 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 if you do see a broken charging station like that, leave it alone. Alert other drivers that are coming in. Or if you encounter a broken charger, don't just put it back in. Throw it above the station so that others will know that it's broken. Just be courteous. Number four, when you're at a supercharger, expect to socialize with other Tesla owners. Of course, this is optional. However, I have found that many times when I step out to plug the cord in, I would run into people that are just super friendly. They love their Teslas or they have questions about their cars. And I ended up just chatting with them, killing time while supercharging. So if you're feeling antisocial, obviously you don't have to do this. However, there have been many times, and I don't know why, I promise my car has no flashing signs or any indication that I have a Tesla YouTube channel, but there have been many times when I am either on my phone, on my Twitter feed, or I would be watching a Netflix film when someone would tap on my window and say, hey, excuse me, this is my first time, <laughs> turn out to be brand new owners. And I ended up giving them a quick tutorial on how to operate their Tesla while we're both supercharging. I have met some really wonderful Tesla owners this way and helped out new owners and tell them about the Tesla supercharging etiquette as well. So be prepared when you're at a supercharging station that you may run into other friendly Tesla owners and new owners who may have questions that you may be able to help out. Number five and the last etiquette that I have, it's actually a general EV charging etiquette. If you remember my video about not being able to charge at home, I mentioned that there is a public charge point level two EV charging station a block away from my office at work that I would go Monday to Friday to charge two hours at a time for free. I have since pulled myself out of that public EV queue because there are a lot more EV owners now and the wait list just grew at those free public level two charge point charging stations. My coworker who does not have free supercharging miles, she still charges there. But for myself, I have accumulated a lot of free supercharging miles through this YouTube channel, Tesla Referrals. I decided to not bog down on that regular level two general EV charger anymore and just utilize the Tesla superchargers as much as I can so that other EV owners can get their cars charged. Of course, this is my personal preference and etiquette now, and I would encourage other Tesla owners who have free supercharging credit to avoid charging at general public level two charging stations or non-Tesla chargers so that other EV owners can charge their cars without having to wait. So this is a Tesla supercharging etiquette or rules that I have noticed and I started following. If there are other etiquette or rules that I didn't mention, please comment down below so we can know 
what to do and how to help the whole community to be kinder and more respectful to one another. Once again, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you.